four shootings in three years on a busy Interstate 40 in Greensboro. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rashida Kaba. Tonight we're learning more about the latest drive by shooting that happened Friday between the Freeman Mill Road and Randleman Road exits. Fox 8's Tyler Harden breaks down what's happened on that road. And Tyler, tell us exactly what people there described to you. I know you spoke to some people who might have seen some things there. Yes, well, people tell me that they are, are really shaken up by what has happened uh, here by their workplace, by their home. And since 2020, just to put it in perspective, there have been four drive by shootings on Interstate 40. Two of those happened this year, and thousands of people drive this interstate every day. And one person I talked to tell me, told me that, you know, when they get behind the wheel, they don't expect to dodge bullets. Sounds like something out of a movie. A drive by shooting on busy Interstate 40 eastbound in Greensboro Friday night. The trigger was pulled as cars zoomed by during rush hour traffic. I 40 eastbound, I 40 eastbound, the 219 mile marker. Going on a shooting just occurred. It looks like somebody also fired shots back at them in self defense. Elijah Miller works in eye shot from where it happened on the interstate between the Freeman Mill Road and Randleman Road exit. Yeah, it's just kind of wild, you know, because it seems spontaneous to see that type of thing. Greensboro police got the call at 743 that night. Around the same time, Elijah would be on the highway heading home. Right after locking up at Jerry's Art Supply Wholesale Club, the store closes at 7 on weekdays. I just felt lucky that I wasn't in the area at all. Under any other circumstance, I could have been around there, and who knows how that would have turned out. Officers found two victims. One was in an SUV. It's going to be a subject shot in the leg and a gold Cadillac Escalade. You got one male shot in the shoulder, one female shot in the leg. Investigators are still trying to piece together why someone would shoot on this busy interstate. If anything's going to happen, is going to happen. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, I just don't see you ending up in a situation like that. Now, Greensboro police say the suspect was driving a gray Honda Accord. If you know anything about this shooting, you're asked to call Greensboro police. Live in Greensboro tonight, Tyler Harden, Fox 8 News. All right, Tyler, thanks so much. Well, a man in Winston-Salem is dead after a crash on North Glen Avenue. 